Welcome to Quant Minds International in Vienna. I'm Joanna Simpson. Joining me now is Massimo Marini, Head of Interest Rate and Credit Modeling at Banker IMI. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks to you for inviting me. And uh, blockchain technology has been dubbed the new internet. So how is it changing the world? Well, I like the uh, analogy between blockchain technology as uh, uh, something similar to the internet. We may say the next step of, uh, of the internet. Because the internet that uh, nowadays uh, seems so, so useful to every one of us has got some features that make it uh, not very suitable to actually store and transfer value. It's a fantastic tool to store and transfer information, but we still keep our valuables outside the internet. Blockchain is the promise to be able to keep our values uh, in uh, uh, the internet as well. And that's because in the internet uh, we have uh, uh, no real uh, um, certainty about time stamping of possible uh, transactions. In the internet, uh, we actually don't have uh, a concept of identity. You know, every time uh, we have to access a service, we have to re-identify ourselves with different uh, uh, passwords and different usernames. And the internet is based on uh, uh, an architecture, which is the server client architecture, that makes every application completely centralized by a private company. That in some cases for our valuables is not exactly what we want. The blockchain is the solution of these problems, a sort of layer uh, over the internet that allows the internet to, to store and to transfer value in a way much, much safer than current technology. And what are the potential applications of blockchain in finance? Well, uh, there has been probably too much uh, uh, speaking about potential applications of blockchain uh, uh, in finance because in this way the imagination of uh, uh, people probably went uh, either, even beyond what we can do now. Let's say that blockchain is already uh, a part of finance, you know, for example, in this conference, we can see that uh, there are a lot of speeches about cryptocurrencies as an asset class. Nowadays, cryptocurrency represent uh, uh, what uh, uh, blockchain can be in finance. They are very small for, for uh, uh, a number of, uh, uh, of reasons, uh, but they can already display the promise of this technology. So let's say that the first uh, application of blockchain in finance uh, uh, is the idea of changing uh, uh, what money is today and somehow also what uh, securities are today, introducing a different way to make money and a different way to make uh, securities and a different way to trade them. Let's say that the tokens and the cryptocurrency represent the possibility to create money which is differentiated by its own technical features because every cryptocurrency is a form of money with a different technical feature. Uh, now there, there start to be a more uh, uh, connection between uh, this uh, uh, separate crypto world and the institutional world and so we will understand these points uh, even more and also the so-called tokens represent a completely different way of digitizing property. And uh, uh, somehow this, uh, in a small area of the financial markets, which, is th which are the crypto markets, is already happening. And what's the significance of smart contracts and how is that changing financial markets? Yes, if we want to take the next step uh, uh, compared to what we are seeing today in the cryptocurrency market, uh, smart contracts become uh, fundamental. And now we have to talk about institutional finance, about the world uh, of uh, banks, uh, of asset managers, of exchanges, of central counterparties. Many of these uh, uh, infrastructures and uh, uh, institutions uh, are still doing uh, their own business uh, based on very old business processes that were developed uh, at least uh, uh, in the last century and in some cases even in the 19th uh, um, century. Uh, smart contracts represent uh, uh, what the technology is offering today to transform uh, these processes and making them more efficient, less risky and also much less expensive because uh, some layers of intermediaries that nowadays um, 
actually absorb a lot of resources in the financial markets can be uh, somehow, if not replaced, uh, very strongly supplemented by the use of some code that is self-executed in the blockchain. My example is, for example, the trading of securities, where nowadays at times we use central counterparties uh, to ensure delivery versus payment. With smart contracts, delivery versus payment can be guaranteed uh, once the two parties decide to make a transaction and uh, another uh, uh, possible application is uh, collateral management or even uh, the mutualization of resources against the fault risk which is nowadays performed uh, by central counterparties can be seriously transformed by the use of uh, smart contracts, not necessarily eliminating the role of current intermediaries, uh, but making this role much lighter, uh, less risky and uh, particularly less prone to systemic risk, you know, because this technology decentralizes some uh, uh, functions that nowadays have to be performed centrally. Massimo Morini from Banker IMI, thank you very much for your time. Thanks to you.